Uh, I have had a technical education, and uh, but every time I've every time I've been in on a faculty, I've been in the English department, although I've never been an English major, and I have tried to bring scientific thinking to literary criticism, and there's been very little gratitude for this. <laughs> All right. Uh, stories have very simple shapes, ones that computers can understand. This is the GI axis. Good fortune, ill fortune. Death, terrible disease, poverty, boisterous, good health, happiness up here. This is the BE axis. Beginning, entropy. <laughs> now then, I'll give you a marketing tip. There's the people who can afford educations and buying books and magazines and all that who can read. Don't like to read about people who are poor or sick. So start your story up here. <laughs> now, the simplest story, and if you stay home and watch this on television, uh, you'll see, it'll be told again and again and again. Nobody, every, every, nobody ever gets tired of this story. I call it man in a hole, but it needn't be about a man in a hole. <laughs> Somebody gets into trouble, gets out of it again. Now, uh, the far end is a little higher than where we began because, you know, the reader thinks, well, by God, I'm a human being too. I must have that much in reserve if I get into trouble or whatever. Now, another story that's very popular, and uh, none of these are copyrighted, <laughs> is, is I, I call it boy meets girl, but it needn't be about a boy or a girl. <laughs> It's somebody on a day like any other day comes across something perfectly wonderful. Oh boy, <laughs> this is my lucky day. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and gets it back again. <laughs> now, uh, another story, it's very popular, and it breaks my rule. Starts down here. It's a young girl, teenage, I guess, maybe 17, 18. Why is she so low? Well, her mother's died reading enough, right? And her father has remarried almost immediately to a terrible old battle axe with two mean daughters. <laughs> and there's a party at the palace that night. <laughs> You've heard it. <laughs> All right, so she has to help her new mother and her sisters, her new sisters, get dressed for this party and uh, she doesn't get to go. Is it? No, no, she, uh, she's not good enough to go, but they are. So, did she get even sadder? No, she's a stout-hearted little girl. It's maximum grief is death of her mother. So everybody leaves for the party, and the fairy godmother shows up and gives her pantyhose, mascara, <laughs> perfume, everything, means of transportation, carriage with horses and everything everything you need to go to a party and have a good time. So, she goes, and the prince falls in love with her. Now you must realize, she is so heavily made up that her own relatives don't recognize her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay. So the clock strikes 12, as promised. And so she loses all the stuff. It's all taken away, and the fairy godmother said that was going to happen. There's a very steep drop here. It doesn't take long for a clock to strike 12. <laughs> Does she drop down to the same level? No. For the rest of her life, she remember the time she was the belle of the ball. So she poops along at this considerably improved uh, <laughs> level until the shoe fits and she becomes off-scale happy. <laughs> now, 